Hello folks, back again with another video. This video is by a special request from over at the Black Tower. And this video is to ask about my mother and her getting into this is not my mother's cop. I don't know. This is the uh, $7.99 edition. Where you can tell they have the ugly ass sticker on the back. And it has the uh, the add-on books. If you were to walk into a Barnes & Noble bookstore right now, going to the metaphysical section. You would see it there. Oh no. That is not my mother's car. My mother's copy is between first and third printing. And, and here it is. And you can immediately tell Outside the damage, the main difference between her book and my book, as well as the obvious, um, her book is a little bit taller than mine, and hers has that, and mine does not. This is the copy that she had that called out to me. So, so long ago, this is the copy that William S. Burroughs apparently quoted saying, let the secrets of the ages be revealed. The publication of the Necronomicon may be well, or may well be a landmark in the liberation of the human spirit. Like I said, mine doesn't have that, so... You can tell how old this copy is. So long ago, this particular one called out to me. Before I could even read and write. Um, like I said, it was the early 90s. I was born in 83. I was a late start person. I remember seeing this on my mother's eclectic bookshelf. Because she had all sorts of books. Uh, witchcraft. Voodoo. Voodoo. Uh, the Levian books. Uh, the Satan. The Satanic Bible. The Spell Book. Alistair Crowley's Red Book of the Law. Because it was a red book. all kinds of things. And even so much as to have this particular copy of the Goetia, if I, if I am wrong, please correct me, but I believe this copy is the, uh, the Occult Bookstore Edition? I know this one is... I don't want to say it's out of print, but I know if you were to go into Barnes & Noble, um, or any occult bookstore, or witchy store, metaphysics, well, it doesn't matter, and look for a Goetia, it's probably not going to be this guy. It's probably going to be a paper guy. And yes, um... Even if it isn't worth much, because I've seen some of these go quite high depending on the edition, um, 
of this particular one. The sentimental value plus uh, this book remained hidden from her collection. Like, it literally was hidden. She had it boxed up and in her room um, away. It wasn't until she moved here uh, that she let everything, let all her books out. I don't know if it was due to prying eyes of the previous place we lived at, because we lived in an apartment. I don't know. But, uh, the point is, my mom had a very eclectic range. And one particular week night, I got so bold, because this kept looking at me, and I kept looking at it, and I said, Mother, what does this say? And I kid you not, she said, don't worry about it. She told me not to worry about it. Now, at the time, I could, you know, say, hey, that's a typical parent response. Uh, you know. Because this one... Because it was a hard-ass word back then. Especially when, you know, I'm about to start uh, reading and writing. Seeing that, that big word. Uh, she told me not to worry about it. And then there was times in between where I would wait till she was sleeping or she was gone to take a look at it. And it was like looking at a road map. I'm like, what the? It confused me. But yet, it had my curiosity. Now, I tried looking at all her, at all her other books. But I always kept coming back to that one. So. And this would go on quite a few times until around 2000, 2011, or 2000, 2001. On a Sunday. That was cloudy. It was calling out strong to me. And I said, hey, Mom, can I look at one of your books? And she's like, which one? I go to that one. She's like, be careful. Like, threatening murder on me. And if I believe it is in the episode of the introduction, you all know that I took it to school with me. The very next day. Anywho, I gave it back to her, and even though I was in the 11th grade, way more intelligent than I was back then, in the early 90s, it was still looking like a road map, but this time, in Greece, looking at a Greek road map. Fried my brain, reading the uh, the Mad Arab testimony was like the only thing I was getting out of it, and even then I was like, then jump to 2010, uh, get my own copy, which you all know this, sorry for repeating, now jump to 2000. I want to say 2014, right before she passed away. Like, I want to say a couple months prior, she passed away in November, 
right before my birthday, like the night before. I want to say somewhere between somewhere between summer and fall uh, she let it be known that back in her day with her gay best friend Terry Bailey who was also her birthday buddy and if you don't know what that is a birthday buddy is somebody who was born on the same day as you and your friends They were born on the same day, same year, in the same hospital, uh, just kind of hours apart. I have one, but a uh, different year. He was like born in 96, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, children's card games played by adults. It's a wonderful thing. Um, she uh, said that uh, like I said they were heavily into magic because it was the style at the time um, the renaissance or whatever and she said that she'd done something like it was big she didn't say what it was like, to be honest, I was grateful that I got, um, I got that much. But she said she did something. She doesn't want to talk about it. And left it at that. Now, that can mean anywhere between, um, uh, Economicon. Possibly the Goetia, one of her other uh, books on various other magics. Uh, she was a very private person, and uh, she kept a lot of secrets with her. And I'll never personally know. I mean, I could ask Terry. But eh, ever since she passed away, a lot of family and friends of the family have stopped talking to me. Um, like, gee, thanks. Thanks for, you know, tolerating me because of my mother. And yes, this includes my sisters as well. So, I mean, I could ask him, but probably won't get nothing out of it either. So, I hate to say, you know, I wish I could tell you more, but I really don't. Her involvement uh, is kind of kind of empty. I mean, I could, you know, bust out the Black Mirror or the Ouija board and, you know, find out that way. But or I can, you know, uh, use one of the trusted names in here. But, uh, honestly, I don't think I would. Uh, I'm curious as all get out, but... Uh, but in a way, I want to kind of respect her wishes. I just know she was involved with buying the book. 
that something big happened. But uh, I'm afraid that's all I know. I wish I knew more, like I said. If I did call a friend, I don't know if his number is connected still or not. I don't know. The dude goes through so many phone numbers. Like underwear. So, I mean... I'm sure he's had like five since then. Since the last time I talked to him. This is a mainly filler video on top of the question at hand. Um, I honestly don't know. I really don't. And I really wish I could tell you more. But, uh, in a weird way. In a weird, morbid way. Even for me, in my standards, um, her uh, copy finally made it into my hands. if I'm wrong. My copy's on top. Hers is at the bottom. Her copy looks a little thinner than mine. Just saying. Her copy looks a little thinner than mine. The only thing that's been damaged is the copy. So, I'm going to wrap up this uh, sad clown fest. Uh, sorry for bringing you guys down. Uh, my mother was my rock in this, in this world hell. So, now I'm going to switch gears and do something happy. Probably play Tiny Tim after this video, so. And he is the cure for the blues. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Let's me know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Become part of Team Awesome. it really <laughs> um, like I said wish I could tell you more shit I'd like to know more honestly but, uh, yeah I am just rambling now so I will I will see you all later